All right. So moving on, let's discuss the cash budget. Now I've skipped out few budgets because I would want to first discuss budgets that are common across for both manufacturing and non-manufacturing firms, and we'll discuss manufacturing firms later onwards. So I would want to first discuss cash budget, which is an important budget because every firm would draw this budget up, whether you're a manufacturing or a non-manufacturing firm. So a cash budget is essentially a cash flow forecast prepared by the firm, which gives us a prediction of future cash inflows and cash outflows over a period of time. This financial plan is essentially important because it helps you assess the liquidity position, any cash flow shortages, cash flow surpluses that the firm would have, and the firm can make financial decisions according to it. So cash budget, perhaps in this topic as well, is the most important budget that examiners frequently test. And due to its importance, we need to focus on cash budgets, what will be included in a cash budget, items which will not be included in a cash budget. So for a cash budget, we need to identify or give special consideration to sales revenue and payment to suppliers. So we need to see in what months will these receipts be received and in what months will these payments be made? All right. So there's a difference between sales made and the sales receipt and purchases made and the purchases payment. So when we talk about sales made and purchases made, we, we are essentially talking about the month in which you sold the good and the month in which you bought the good. But when we talk about the cash budget, our focus is in what month did we receive those sales receipt and in what month did we make these purchases payments? All right. And also one more thing to note for any receipts, we need to take into account any cash discount, something that I've illustrated in the previous videos. Similarly, there can be discounts on purchases payment as well. So you could also receive discount from your suppliers. We need to account for that. And the payment should be after the discount. So any non cash item will not be recorded in the cash budget. What do I mean by the non cash items? These would include depreciation that will not go in the cash budget. It's a non cash expense, any bad debts, they will not be included in the cash budget. Again, they're non cash expenses. So whenever we come across these terms, we need to take into account that they will not be included in the cash budget. Rather than that, they would be included in the income statement for the firm. All right. Now, what are the benefits and limitations of a cash budget? We should discuss that as well. As I've mentioned, a cash budget will be useful to identify any shortfalls of cash. It will give you time to arrange for financing, maybe seek the loan at a very good or concessionary rate. Similarly, if the business has surplus cash, it can help you identify any, any possible investment opportunities. It will help you in controlling the cash. The cash can be controlled because that's one area where there can be excessive leakages that could damage the firm. It can also help you in planning the timing of the expenditure. For example, when to buy the machinery, what month should any capital investment be made? So that all could be timed or planned accordingly if we have a cash budget drawn. It will also help you motivate your staff to achieve departmental objective. And again, it goes with the coordination and communication advantage of budgeting. However, the limitation, if we talk about limitations, there will obviously be restrictions are placed on expenditures. Certain times a firm might have to make certain expenditures which are necessary for the business, but the cash budget might not allow that. Sometimes the targets are set too high and the cash restrictions essentially become too tight as well. That could lead to demotivation of staff. And very often because the cash budget does not allow you to make certain expenditures, it can lead to surplus cash, which can go to be overspended or it could be wasted into pet projects or the staff could use up those resources, which the firm could have used elsewhere. All right, so we should all know the benefits and limitation of a cash budget. Now, finally, how should we draw a simple cash budget up? So for any month, our cash budget should look something like this. We will start off with our receipts. In your receipts, you should write all receipts, cash sales receipts, cash received from credit customers. So remember, cash sales will be received in the same month, but the credit customers might be received in the later month, maybe one month later or two months later. Any other receipt will be added over here to get your total receipts. 
Now, from these receipts, we will subtract all our payments and cash expenditures. So when I talk about payments and cash expenditures, I'm referring to payments to suppliers, payment for salaries, payment for overheads, any loan interest expenses that we have to pay. Any drawings made by partners will all be subtracted from your inflows and that will give you the closing net receipts or payments for that month. Now this figure shows the movement in cash for that month only. So once we have calculated this, all we have to do is we can add it to our opening balance to find the closing cash balances. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to take the opening balance, we'll add it to the opening balance and that will give us the closing cash balance available at the end of the month. So this balance CD over here shows the cash available or the cash or bank available with the firm at the end of the month. Now using this, the firm can make its financial decision. They can decide on how to use this cash or if there's a shortage, if it's a negative balance, it means there's a deficit of cash. How can they arrange for cash or they could plan for cash to avoid this deficit over here. Alright, so your cash budgets would be simple. All you have to do is write down your receipts, subtract all your payments and cash expenditures to find your net receipts and then add it to your opening balance available at the start of the month. So we'll draw cash budgets in the coming videos and this way we'll learn how to forecast the cash available with the firm every month.